Hello everyone and welcome to my beauty room. My name is Jasmine. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine. I hope that you all choose to stay and if you do, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And I hope everyone is having a magical Monday. For those of you who don't know, on Mondays on this channel, I go through and I take Disney items that I own and I do a makeup look inspired by these items. For the month of October, I'm going to be focusing on more Halloween-ish themes. And for this week, we are going to do a makeup look inspired by Ursula. She is my favorite villain. So I'm super excited to do this. On Mondays, I'm going to do more of a Disney bound rather than a full-blown costume. But if you are interested in seeing a full-blown costume of Ursula, I would be happy to do that. I have done a costume of her a couple of times already, and it is one of my favorite makeup looks to do. And before we get started, I just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone for the support on my last video. It really means a lot to me the support was more than I had expected and so I really appreciate anyone who took the time to listen, to comment, send me a DM, anything at all. It, it really means a lot to me. So again, thank you and let's jump into this magical Monday. And then for this makeup look, we are going to be primarily dipping into the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. My favorite collection, for obvious reasons. Purple is my favorite. And I'm not going to paint my full face purple, but instead I'm going to take Deviant and maybe a little bit of Vivid Mood and kind of do more of a blush with it, just on kind of a tapered small brush that I can control, just kind of focusing it on my nose and then a little bit on my cheeks. Just to do kind of a hint of purple. And then for her iconic mole, I'm going to go in with the House Laboratories liquid liner and just kind of Probably more so darken one of the molds that I originally have. I have three choices here to do, so I'll probably go with this upper little one right here. And just make it a little bit more prominent. Now I am doing things a little bit out of order, but there are no rules in makeup. And sometimes I like to finish my face and lips before even starting my eyes. So for lips today, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty in the shade Uncuffed. So far, I'm pretty happy with the direction we're going in. So for the transition, I'm going to dip into Monarchy, this kind of taupey brown shade. Just blending that out on the crease. I already set my eyes and primed them with concealer. What are you guys' opinion about kind of like sexy costumes. I feel like if the character is sexy, then I have no problem with it, but I'm not a big fan of the costumes that are just taking a little bit more of an innocent character and making it sexy. Something about it just feels weird. And I kind of get the reason it started because as time goes on, people are more accepting of women wearing what they want. Not everyone is but I believe that you're, you should be able to wear what you're comfortable in and if you, that means fully covered, then stay fully covered. If it means going out in a bra and underwear, then do that too. It doesn't really matter. It shouldn't really matter, shall I say. So 
so I feel like costumes like Ursula or like Jessica Rabbit, they are gonna be a little bit more sexy because that's kind of what the characters represent. But when it's like a sexy Snow White, it just feels a little bit off to me. But I'm also a costume purist and I like things to be a little bit more accurate. So maybe that's just me. And then next I'm going to go into Vile Serpent, this kind of turquoise-ish color and then focus that on the outer corner. It's pretty interesting because when you think of Ursula, you think of her as all purple, so you kind of just assume she has purple eyeshadow, but then you look again and she really has more turquoise eyeshadow. Because I mean, she has purple skin, so I guess it would make sense to have a different color eyeshadow. Then I'm going to drag it a little bit in as well. Still trying to keep it low because I don't want it to get out of control. And then just to make sure that this is blended, I'm going to take a fluffy brush with a little bit of that transition and then just make sure there isn't a harsh line going up into the crease. And then also making sure that it's blended on the lid as well because I'm going to have it radiant into purple. Again, her eyeshadow doesn't have purple in it, it's more of different shades of this kind of turquoise, but because it's a Disney bound, I'm kind of taking creative liberty and I do want to add a little bit more purple because again, when you think of Ursula, you tend to think more purple. And then so with my finger, I'm going to dip in to take the crown and I'm going to place that where the turquoise isn't. My nails are short enough to do this this round. And then in the waterline, I'm going to take this color pop gel liner in the shade Katsu. And then for a little bit more contrast, I'm going to go in with Blood Queen on just a small brush and then run that along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that Take the Crown and just make sure that it's in that inner corner. Okay, so far this is the eyeshadow. It actually was fairly easy to do, just be a little bit patient with the blending process. But overall, I think that it is pretty. So I'm going to go and pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and this is the final look. I am obsessed with it. I love it. I feel like you could do a lot with this Disney bound. Add some jewelry. This I got a long time ago on Etsy. Um, I think they came with the matching earrings as well. And then just do wear a black crop top and some purple pants or a purple skirt or whatever. And then you have yourself an Ursula bound. And then for lashes today, I use the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. I just wanted a little bit more of a dramatic lash. Nothing to cover up too much, but just something more, a little bit more dramatic. Because if you didn't know, Ursula was actually inspired by the drag queen Divine, so mm, you kind of have to go a little bit more dramatic. But we did tone it down for this particular look. But stay tuned for the full-blown Ursula costume that will be coming soon and other than that I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like and subscribe button I'd really appreciate it and I hope you have a magical Monday bye